You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, February 22nd, 2019. It is also the feast of the chair of Peter. Now remember that Peter was our first Pope and he was installed in the office of Pope by Jesus himself. This is a feast day that reminds us that we have a beautiful unbroken line of Popes from Peter himself and that our church teaches with the authority that Jesus Christ gave it long ago. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about repentance in an effort to prepare for a good and holy Lent this year. First, we talked about why we sin and, of course, that we are given free will. Next, we talked about how sin drives a wedge between us and God and has an effect on our relationship with him. Next, we started talking about repentance and the steps of repentance, including identifying our sins, asking for God's merciful forgiveness, and finally, accepting God's merciful forgiveness. Today, we are going to talk about the fourth step of repentance, and this actually comes from the very word repentance, and it is penance. Now, penance is something that we do. If you're old enough to go to confession, you know that after you have confessed your sins and been absolved from them, the priest usually gives you some homework or some work to do, and we call that work penance. Sometimes the priest will ask you to say prayers for certain people, do certain things, or I mean, really, they can tell you to do just about anything. Now, I want to make something very clear to you. Your sins are forgiven when you're in the confessional. When the priest raises his hands and blesses you and prays over you, your sins are forgiven. He gives you the penance afterwards. There is no, there's no thought here that if you don't do the penance, that you won't be forgiven. It doesn't work that way. God does not require that we do anything to earn his love or earn his forgiveness because of our wonderful God and his true amazing nature, his forgiveness comes to us freely. However, why do we have to do penance then? Well, we do penance because even though our sins are forgiven, we are still the same person. So let's say you go into the confessional and you confess that you have done just so terrible to your sister that you harass her, call her names, make fun of her, you know, you, all these terrible things you're confessing. The priest says you're absolved of your sins, but you leave the confessional and you still probably have a tendency to be mean to your sister. So how do we work on behaving differently? Well, we have to do things. A priest will oftentimes tell us to pray for the person that we have sinned against the most. Praying can oftentimes bring blessings to that person. It can bring God into the situation so that we're not so tempted to be nasty. Um, Maybe the priest will give you penance to do something thoughtful for that person. And doing something out of love instead of nastiness can also work to change our heart. In fact, the whole season of Lent is about penance. If we sin by eating too much food, Lent is a time to get into fasting. If we sin by not giving God enough time in prayer, Lent is a time to refocus on private, quiet prayer. And if we have a sin of being too selfish, of not sharing what we have, of being greedy, Lent is also a time to give alms, to give to the poor, to look at what we have and to share it. So Lent is a time where we work on being better, on getting rid of those things that lead us to sin. And in fact, it is a time that we work to become more like Jesus Christ in every way.
And so Sprouts, I have one final challenge for you this week, and it's this. I would like you to make a confession. Now, it doesn't have to be done today. In fact, it needs to be done before Easter, so you have time. It'd be wonderful if you can make more than one confession before Easter. If you are old enough, make sure that you do a proper confession in front of a priest. If you are still too young to receive and practice the sacrament of reconciliation, then do a confession on your own. You can confess to your parents if you like, but you can also do a private confession In the silence of your heart, bring your sins to God, acknowledge what they are, accept his loving forgiveness, and embark on doing penance, activities that can demonstrate how you want to turn away from sin and how you intend to live more like Jesus. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. And quickly, one word about Lent. Lent is coming, and we at Catholic Sprouts have a brand new resource to offer you. This year, pray the Jesus tree with your family during Lent. It is similar to the Jesse tree, only it dives into all the events of Jesus' life, and there is a special devotion for each and every day of Lent. You can check it out and find out more about this really beautiful devotional at the website, Catholic Sprouts forward slash Jesus dash tree.